the crypto space where I, I can tell you it's uh, all shades of red. Not friendly <laughs> at all. Red I mean, on the screen. All shades of red. Yeah. I mean, there's the light red, there's the deep red, deep there's red. the medium red, there's the tomato red. Yeah. You it's... know some of us are colorblind, but <laughs> you can't I, be blind I see a lot of red. This. <laughs> you can't be blind Yeah, you can't this. be blind to this. This, this is, is a really whole red. lot, laddie. What yeah. have you done to the market? And it's quite incredible, you know, when the market is going up, everybody's all excited. <laughs> but when you have those pullbacks, investors get all weary and all of that. Yeah, but, but it's always a time for another investor to hop on. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So one investor's red is another investor's green. Yeah. You know, at this point. <laughs> All right, let's check out what's going on now. Uh, we see it's uh, fully red, just little pockets of green. Let's look at the top cryptocurrencies we track um, now. And the sentiment, obviously, in the market is still uh, not extremely greedy, definitely, at this point. We see Bitcoin there, $63,625, um, down 5.53%. From uh, earlier on business morning was down about 4%. We've seen more drops at this time. XRP is also down, uh, losing that 60 cent level. They didn't really rally uh, with the rest of the uh, cryptocurrencies that we track at this time. But let's bring in um, Rume Ofi now, financial market analyst, uh, to bring us up to speed. Uh, great to have you, Rume. Good afternoon, Adi. Good afternoon. Yeah, red right on the screen at this time, and I see a big smile on Rume's face because Rume is the I'm, bear. I'm, I call I'm you the, the bear on this show. <laughs> I'm wearing the green. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but talk to me now, uh, Rume. Everyone's expecting the Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin halving, and investors definitely, have some have taken profit, you know, based on that. But talk to me about the Bitcoin halving. It's, um, uh, we know the rewards miners get for mining uh, a Bitcoin gets halved. So uh, that means uh, no, not much incentive, you know, to mine uh, Bitcoin going forward. Is there a risk we're going to get some miners just pack up and, you know, stop mining Bitcoin? Exactly, Ladi. You, you, make, you make my job very easy for me by making the, the, some of this last statement. The ASIC miners, uh, a, a lot of the miners that have actually been using this machine for a while now, uh, most likely are going to most likely change some of these uh, hardwares. And these hardwares are quite expensive, running into uh, tens of thousands, about sixty to eighty thousand dollars. You know, so for them to be able to have more ability to compete effectively, you know, so buying a newer machine and price of Bitcoin is down is more like a, a loss for you. You know, so it's difficult for these miners to be able to couple recouple their their profit or make money off all of these things. You know, so it's very risky for the miners. So most likely, what they are doing now is to sell uh, the whole be on cash, you know, so you, you won't have to blame them. If the amount of, of, of mining one Bitcoin uh, become less or become it become more expensive than the price at that point in time, it makes no sense to, 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 to get to get into the mining business. So we're going to see a situation whereby very few miners are going to sell because the machine they have can meet up to the expectation of solving the competition quite well to be able for them to make money. You know, so this is some of the difficulties that you know happen. But though the Bitcoin halving that actually priced them into the market, I was seeing a couple of things. But if you ask me, things are fairly better. Uh, because before now we used to see the thirty percent down the the uh, all time high at that point in time before the halving, or it didn't take place this time, just a, some pocket of drop down, which some persons attributes to the geopolitical crisis and some other things which some of us have been talking about before now. You know, the truth is, at some point when the market goes up, it's only natural that people take, take profit. It's only someone that doesn't understand the industry or doesn't understand what it means to invest and make money and take profit will leave their money there. Because the truth is, even humans don't live forever. So why uh, get involved in an investment and try to get so emotional about it? Right. And looking at, you know, the, the market right now, we're seeing Bitcoin you know, down from the previous highs. Um, is it time to, you know, just take profit if you've not taken profit already? Yeah, so uh, a lot of persons uh, actually got into the market at the highs. You know, uh, even last week, I, I actually said that this is dangerous. Uh, it was looking like I, I was being too more careful than those that are actually listening to me. Uh, then we saw that flash uh, dump that actually made uh, people, uh, the longs liquidated in 24 hours was $900 million. It, I think one of the, that's one of the biggest liquidation we've had uh, in the history of uh, the entire market you know so those that were actually thinking that we're probably going to 100k actually got their hands but even yesterday or thereabouts we still have about 330 million dollars liquidated you know so uh it's, it's it's really it's really tricky right now yeah. the market is uh it's, it's much more emotional than we least expected with all of these uncertainties of whether there's going to be a cut or not going to be a cut this year 
at the U.S. Central Bank, it's even making it more scary. So people are not right. going to take profit. Our uh, probably going to see some okay. down, some more downside. But again, uh, there could be some short-term upside a bit before we go to downside. All right, looking out, looking out for that. We'll keep tracking those prices. Thank you so much, Romeo Fee, financial market analyst. Thank you.